Mm, y'all, what is up, y'all? It is Neek, and this is Batcave Gaming. Bring guys another video gameplay. In this video, we want to talk about some skill-based matchmaking. Um, I recently saw a video by T Martin, the homie T Martin. He uploaded a video saying Black Ops and Black Ops 3 skill-based matchmaking is back, and talked about some of the negative things. And look at this. I don't know what I was doing, y'all. Tell me what I was doing. I deserve to die there. Anyway. Um, he talked about skill based matchmaking being in Black Ops 3 and it came to his attention and other YouTubers and I guess Reddit uh, players saying hey since this newest patch it's gotten really bad so I wanted to touch on the issue as well and kinda add my two cents and add more information on what's going on so skill based matchmaking has been in the game since the beginning some people might have not noticed it, but it's been there from the beginning. Uh, T. Martin said something like uh, every. It's because um, they waited a month or something, but I don't believe that to be true because there's still new players playing constantly, so they're not going to wait a month before they put them in skill-based matchmaking. It just hasn't been as obvious to people as recent. I, th I honestly think that's what it is. And it could be because how many people are playing, but I think that's what the difference is. Anyway, so skill-based matchmaking in theory is supposed to be a good idea, right? If the teams are even, it's a competitive game, and a lot of... Look at this guy. He was just chilling, waiting for me. Um, but technically, you know, Call of Duty is a competitive game. It's me versus you, us versus them, and you want to be the best to win. Um, obviously, we like to just kill everyone every now and again but Call of Duty at its core is supposed to be a competitive game and that's why esports has gone popular because it's a competitive game right but the problem with skill based matchmaking where they went wrong is there's a lot of things wrong with it on how it's implemented but the main thing why people complain so much about it and don't like it is because of how the skill based match skill based the matchmaking is so let me give you an example say it's a team of four on four or yeah four on four let's say one player has a 4kd he always gets a 4kd so to make it even technically you would say okay the other team has to have people who at least get 1kd or 2kd right but since the player who has a 4kd he's so good you want to make it even so they bring people who have a 0.5 KD on his team. So for example, one team might have someone with a 4 KD, one person with a 1 KD, and two people with a 0.5 KD. So if you know Call of Duty, a 0.5 KD isn't the best. A 1 KD is someone who knows what they're doing. If you're close to 1 KD, you might just mess around, but you know what you're doing if you have to play. So if someone has a team of a 4 KD, a 1 KD, and two people with a 0.5 KD, and you're versing a team of four people with one KD at least or one with two KD and the rest with one KD the other team by far on average knows what they're doing a lot more so that's a problem with the game and I had a perfect gameplay for this and it sucks because my Elgato messed up the theater mode in the game messed up too but I had a perfect game where um, and it was perfect because it was a ground war game so it showed you how bad skill based matchmaking is the other team wasn't in a party of six or nine or whatever it was just everyone just put on teams so on my team I led my team with 8,000 points and we're playing a domination game 8,000 points is a lot of points so it's either that I was just killing everyone and capturing objectives or there's more to it so for example in my game I had 8,000 points but the next closest person only had 2,000 points but when I look at the other team that end up beating us there were five people with over 4,000 points where the closest person on my team only had 2,000 points and then all of them had under this is a game of nine on nine as you can see if I have 8,000 points and my next closest is only 2,000 it means that I'm having to carry my team and in a game like Call of Duty especially in ground war it's just way too hard for one person to carry everyone so I promise you that's one of the main reason why people hate skill-based matchmaking because of that 
Another reason why it's bad, um, especially in Advanced Warfare, not so much in Black Ops 3, is because you would get people matched up with people all across the country or bad internet connections. The internet connections were not good. So that's why everyone's like, match me up with someone with a good connection like mine. So it's fair, so it's even. But since there's so many things going into it, if you're playing if you're playing with someone like I gave my example, if I have eight thousand points and my teammates have two thousand and below, and there's a connection issue, it's just way too bad. It's not even fun and that's why people hate the skill based matchmaking. With Black Ops 3, I don't think it has been as bad because so many people like the game. It's a lot more popular in Advanced Warfare. More people are playing the game. But as you can see, this is a perfect example why multiple issues at once can just make skill-based matchmaking completely horrible and not even... Uh, it just ruins the game 100%. And that's a perfect example. It's not just one thing that makes skill-based matchmaking horrible. It's multiple so I, I think we can easily establish that skill based matchmaking in theory is not bad it's just the multiple things in skill based matchmaking that makes it bad connection issues how they uh, have it set up in terms of bouncing of the teams and those are the main issues that Call of Duty has when they do skill based matchmaking but don't think that there weren't skill based match matchmaking before because there always has been but it's just been done wrong I feel in the games recently because you know the easy fix that we think okay why don't we just take skill based or we yeah take skill based matchmaking out completely which to me originally sound like it was a perfect idea just do that but say if it's just purely connection based then we might run into the same issues where teams will be unbalanced where say where I live no one gets into Call of Duty like that or competitive in it they don't know how to play the game they just they just try and if that's the case you might have a game of 12 and only three people know how to play the game because it was just done strictly uh, by connection and this is obviously an extreme example but I just think skill based matchmaking is really hard to implement correctly but somehow the Call of Duty did it back in the day and we might have to go back to somehow just rolling the dice with it being and look at this guy <laughs> and I, I kind of go off right here I get a few kills right here so I was proud of myself but I think we might just have to go to closest person or best internet connection in terms of matchmaking just because how it's set up now it's, it's going to be broken, um, but I believe in Treyarch. I know they can tweak it so it's done right, but I want to hear your thoughts on what you guys think skill-based matchmaking can be done to fix it. Are you guys experiencing bad skill-based matchmaking? Um, and it just tell me your thoughts on it below because I know me. I, I normally play solo anyway, but say if I decide to play with someone who's just as good or better than me I I run into this issue so bad so we have two people who are really good against six people who are good and four people on my team that just are not good because of how the game is uh, matchmaking us so it's a tough thing but I know Treyarch can probably get it figured out I, I believe they can I don't think in Ghost it really had this issue and Call of Duty's before that, even Black Ops 2, it didn't seem like it was as bad as it's been on Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3. So, that's my thoughts on skill-based matchmaking. matchmaking. I want to hear what you guys think down below. Share it around. I want comments on this because I want to hear what you guys think on the skill-based matchmaking. Is it just me or are my points true? Do you guys have other points? Because I feel like with the community, if you want things fixed, you kind of have to talk about them just so they get fixed. And the more people that have knowledge on it, the better chance we have of the game getting uh, made better for us. And Treyarch, they're going to keep making the game better. But it's just a matter of staying with it and 
being patient, I guess, because that's all we can do. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. This is Neek. This is Bad Cave Gaming. I am out. Deuces. And make sure y'all check out my last two videos, one on the crypto keys, and you can burn them and earn them. And we talk about the Awakening DLC that's coming out in February. Check it out.